Hi, my name's Simon Barber and I want to share with you something I've been using for the last couple of years. It's called uh, iKey and it's um, a third party Mac automation software that enables you to automate a lot of your workflows. Um, it's available online if you Google it and um, you can download a free trial which you can then upgrade for a cost of I think £40. Pounds. Um, iKey basically runs in the background of any application that you're um, running and can perform a lot of um, medial tasks that um, can involve a lot of mouse clicks or moving stuff to folders or converting movies or um, taking data from um, an edit list in Excel and pasting it into um, a given data sheet in numbers um, and you can repeat these tasks uh, until they're stopped. Um, so there's a number of different uses that um, you can create um, using the um, macro editor in here. Um, so I'll run one um, uh, workflow here. This one's basically I want to um, sh share a given um, clips from this timeline and upload them to a site um, having converted them to uh, iPhone movie. Um, so first of all let's uh, just um, collect a couple of clips. Um, we'll just take this um, one here. Um, so for this I've just uh, enabled flagging in sports, clothes, sports code and uh, given R the hotkey for reviews. Um, so all I do now is I now want to take this clip and upload it to our URL to uh, share with people. So for this all I do now is hit Apple G and it finds that clip, converts it to number one to a given directory and then it goes to my um, website, clicks on upload um, module and I can now s simply select that file from there and upload it. And that's the workflow run um, without uh, me even touching the machine. So um, uh, that's, that's one use of it. So let's uh, go through and have a look at the details. I'll now uh, close this workflow and um, go through and show you how we can go about um, creating our, a different macro. So you begin with going into the iKey editor uh, and in here um, you basically can create your um, new macro. So let's go into the one that I used a second ago which is review clips to site. So it began with um, clicking Apple F which in sports code is the find part um, and then it's used um, a number of tab keys to get to the part of um, the um, uh, find um, module in sports code that I want to use um, and let's hit return and then it's um, gone to convert movie which is um, <coughs> a, number, it's a menu item in sports code and then I've told it to use the um, uh, rename the uh, file as one so I've told it to type one and then hit return to save and then I've gone to this URL which is our site I want to upload stuff to and then I've chosen it uh, to select all of the um, uh, files in that um, folder so I could have added more if I wanted uh, and then I've used this um, mouse click here to move to a certain part of the screen uh, and then I've uh, selected all the items and hit return so um, that was the workflow without me um, touching the machine at all. So this is ideal for um, during games, during training, um, to run during meetings when you're away from your machine perhaps. Um, so you can you can automate any sort of uh, mouse clicks or movement of folders or files. Um, there's other parts in here where you can um, uh, let's have a look. You can um, launch it off a keystroke or you can launch it off um, the opening of an application, say Sports Code or um, iCoder, which is the two we, we mainly use it through. Um, and you can run it off a date or time of event, so you can run it at 3 o'clock. So we use that one, say, for the start of kickoff. Um, I know it's going to start running, and we can collect um, data from the, um, say, sports code edit list, which updates um, throughout the game to copy the data into numbers um, for our sort of dashboard presentation during the game. Um, you can run it off a keystroke, which I did a minute ago, which is Apple G. You can sign it to any um, application, so I could, I could run it off... Um, uh, application I could run it off any, you know anything that's running at the moment um, or you know just add and open another application to select that one um, and the great thing about it as well is that you can add um, the number of times it repeats so on this occasion I chose it to just run the one time but you can get it to repeat um, say um, until stopped or 30 times throughout the game or during training um, and you can pause in between so you can have um, you know 
it running every three seconds or every five seconds or you know every 20 seconds and the brilliant thing about it is because it actually runs in the background it's not actually going to um, close any of your applications which are running or jump into the actual IKEA editor and um, um, move you away from the software you're using so it's ideal for use over like a timeline share um, so it's it's um, you know can copy data and paste it into a, a document um, so you don't actually need to touch the machine at all to actually get stats updating from um, you know one um, notation analysis software to um, you know your actual dashboard presentation so um, there's you know hundreds of uses that um, I've got for it at the moment but um, uh, the main ones are um, you know, converting movies, um, moving stuff into given directories, um, and um, copying and pasting data from one sheet to another. So uh, I hope that helps, and I hope there's um, uses um, you can find for it for your own workflows, and I hope it can, um, you know, make the time you spent doing stuff uh, more efficient.